You are going to be going on a wonderful journey of transforming from a wantrepreneur to an entrepreneur. As Professor Kane said, we're both Kane. He's K A N E. I'm C A I N. But we're both Team Kane. I've heard of co-teaching before. I've experienced it a little bit as one of my first classes. It is a new experience though. So the three colleges that we're looking at are all part of the City University of New York system. Each of these three sites, the model of integrated instruction developed very holistically. Integrated instruction is a model of collaboration where a teacher who's trained in teaching students who have reading, writing, and math literacy needs and a professional technical instructor collaborating to teach in one classroom. We have two instructors in the class because we found that in this program a lot of the students have remedial needs. We talked about the population that we're serving, which is an adult population that typically hasn't been in the classroom in a while. It's like a first time type of a population, like first time taking a college class, first time taking a technical course, first time taking a clinical class. A traditional program has the remedials prior to the coursework, but in our program we do it concurrently. And I find that that works very well because in a traditional remedial program, they do reading, writing, and math, but they don't really apply it to their program. But in our program, they're applying it to specific coursework. Now a third is kind of a pain when you're scaling with it. What about a third makes it a little more tricky? What happens when you turn it into a decimal? I think that the integrated model has been working really well for us so far. As a math teacher, I know that there's a huge resistance for students towards learning math. And I think by integrating it into what they do in the kitchen, it makes it really clear how important being able to work nimbly with numbers actually is. Let's say this total amount of soup we're going to make is 20 ounces total? No. We need to make 120 ounces. 120 ounces, right? When they see it put into play and when they see Chef Riley really involving me into the lesson, they start to understand the importance of it, not only for testing and if they want to continue in their college education, but also just for success in their career. Students are able to then learn the academic skills in an applied context. It lets them see the importance of those academic skills, but more importantly, hopefully, it gives them some content with which to latch on to those academic skills. I actually took to the integrated model right away. In business, it's really great to have somebody that's content-oriented, which I am, and then my instructor, which is Denise, knowing grammar very well. Bridging two very different departments into one class by having the business aspect and the, the English aspect. We usually have a debrief at the end of each class. We stay together until all the students have left, and then we sit and discuss how the class was successful, what we may have missed, and we usually do the same before class begins. We talk about how we're going to start the class, what we're going to discuss when we break up into groups. There's a lot of planning outside of class, but also within class, we give each other our space to be ourselves. You're the face that they like. You're the personality that they like. You can have the idea of what you're going to do, but when you get all the way to the end, you'll see that. This is what I'm going to have to multiply every single ingredient by. I now take the cut edge and turn it back towards me. I know some of you are far back, but go ahead and touch it. OK, is that pumping? Is that pumping? The educator of today has to have a degree of flexibility. You can't have any kind of hierarchy that one of us has more standing in the classroom than the other. When you have the right faculty who have a good understanding of how the model is to work, it works very well. We're delivering these students prepared as opposed to the students who have to complete a course of study and learn on the job and learn how to use the material on the job. They're actually hitting the workforce knowing what to do. I had students email me back and say, hey, Chef, we already got a job. It's been a great satisfaction to see them out there working and being successful. We found that our students needed this extra support in reading and writing. For our population, it was worth it. By bringing them into the classroom where we can accelerate their progression through occupational training and give them a strong foundation for college all at once, we're combining those academic skills with the occupational skills to make sure that they succeed in the short term and in the long term. Mm -hmm.